Hi everyone, Mike Nelson here. Welcome to the Satellite of Lava. Once again, we're live. <laughs> Something wrong, Crow? Uh, you know you want me, baby. Hit it, Servo. <laughs> yeah, come on, Mike. Don't act like you haven't heard my trademark catchphrase, loved by millions. You know you want me, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's new to me. Oh, don't play coy. People everywhere stand around water coolers, chuckling over my hijinks from the night before, especially when I roll out my lovable chestnut. You know you want me, baby. You know what? I have never heard that before in my entire life. Oh, sure you have. I say it all the time, Mike. I'm a cultural icon, bigger than that, that, that Ray J. Johnson guy in his prime. Yeah. yeah. America, you know you want me, baby. Don't you feel the slightest bit bad about just pulling a catchphrase out of thin air? Uh, this was embraced by the people, Mike. It didn't come from me. Yes, it did. Well, all right. Well, that may be true, but I have to justify this huge T-shirt order. I mean, look at this stuff. Uh, yeah, you know, I was wondering about that. Yep. Uh, Two million of them. Yeah. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking looking at that. Where's the beef? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I mean, I mean, you know you want me, baby. Come on. Ah, come on, exactly work. Exactly it. We'll be right stupid, back. Stupid, stupid, ah. stupid, 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 stupid. So these are the catchphrases I can choose from, huh? Yep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. there's a pretty good one. Kiss off, Slappy. <laughs> I like that. That's great, yeah. yeah. That, that's not really for me. I was, oh, here's one that ought to get the kids going. We're all out of toner. Huh. Ooh, wow. Boy. Mm -hmm. don't, don't, don't run on my wet floor. Oh, man. Jeez. Secretary, please read the minutes from the last. <sighs> yeah, right. pathetic. Let, let go of it, Slappy. Oh, knock it off, Mike. Jeez. Well, Pearl's calling. I said cut it out. No, it's not. She is. It's... Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Stand by. Oh. 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 Hello, and welcome back to day one of our public Pearl pledge drive. That clip you just saw was, of course, Are You Being Served? Just one of the many quality programs that you'll see here on Public Pearl. Hey, Nell Bell, I just remembered how much squats public television pulls down, so I had Brain Ball whip me up this set, and Viola, it's pledge drive time. From now on, I'm playing the ponies on some well-meaning liberals coin. ka -ching. Let's go talk to one of our great volunteers. Hi, what's your name? Uh, uh. Ortega, that's pretty. What's your favorite show here on Public Pearl? Oh, sure, I love that show. Jeremy Brett is one of the best. Thanks for helping out. Now, remember, folks, if you pledge at the $150 golden producer level, you'll receive this sturdy tote bag emblazoned over its entire surface with the color brown. Give a call, won't you? Wow, Mike, this is so cool. You know, with all the money I take from you, I can get one of those cool tote bags, which is great because I have, like, so much stuff I need to tote. Why, just this morning, you know, I was toting something, only it wasn't in anything, so no matter how I tried to tote it, it fell all over the place. Servo, uh, she's just going to use our money to send us more bad movies. What? <laughs> oh, sure, sure. Just, just, just go sit in front of your stupid network TV, you cheap fascist. Oh, hello. <laughs> Yeah, say, I want to do my part to get one of those cool tote bags. Uh -huh. So how much of Mike's money do you need? Uh -huh. Oh, great. Okay, okay. If you contribute, you'll see fine shows like Mike Nelson's Lord of the Dance or this quality nature program, The Nature of Bobo. Let's watch, won't we? Uh, the uh, mountain gorilla subsists almost solely on fruit, uh, nuts, and uh, uh, yes. beef and bean changarita with extra peso sauce. <laughs> Having lived among this magnificent creature for years, I, I, I have gained its trust, and thereby... Hey, that reminds have... me, brain guy. I borrowed you a sweater and you never returned it. I don't trust you anymore. Ah. Having challenged me thusly, I must reassert my dominance, thereby enabling me to live among these great beasts for many a year to come. Help! Oh! 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 Wow. Just a sample of the kind of thing that you'll see here on Public Pearl. 
And now sit back and enjoy this special nine-part series, Overdrawn at the Memory Bank, starring the late Raul Julia, a very wonderful actor. What was he doing in this piece of surely very quality, quality programming? It was produced by one of my affiliates, WNET in New York. Please enjoy, and we'll be back later. Gimme! Come on, there's still so much more to tote! Let go of it, man. <laughs> oh, sure, Mike. Just go watch your Webster's and your Facts of Life's and your Who's the Boss's is. Oh, we got. I supposed to know day 276 was going to be as wild as it turned out to be. Yeah, My life as a computech was calm and simple. But that was before I met hey. Aram Fingal. AKA Gomez. Yeah. My name is Apollonia James. Oh, right. <laughs> and I worked in Nirvana Village monitoring Dopplers. Sure you did. I remember thinking that Fingal didn't seem the Doppling kind. So Fingal didn't Doppel? He had the most unusual eyes. They were made of mylar. Corpse body. As it turned out, everything went wrong with Fingal's Doppel. Hmm. He lost his body, and I almost lost my mind. Which wasn't a major loss, but still pretty annoying. Oh, if only she spoke French. Mm. This lovely Raoul Julia pendant, available only on the Home Shopping Network. It's a Raoulbix cube. <laughs> Guys, oh. see, I thought he was Puerto Rican. I didn't no, know that he was Cuban. <laughs> Raul, you come right back and be in this bad movie, young man. But I'm signed to play Archbishop Romero. Now the news. That's the New York Public TV station. What, a Pearl accidentally sent us McNeil Lara report? Oh, no, you think Mark Russell's going to be in this? Ah, no. <laughs> uh, ha, 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 ha. That is funny. Wanda Cannon, now that's a porno name if I ever heard one. Well, not that I've ever heard one. Huh. I, you know, I don't subscribe to lots of publications or anything. I don't know. Huh. Oh, wow, TV's Frank. Oh, Frank. Frank, he's really come up in the world. Frank. By 4%. Let LexaCorp deal with that. We will win. <laughs> He's kind of a Dickensian character of the future sort of thing. And mm. communication is civilization. Oh. Did I imagine it, Mike, or did a chubby angel with gin blossoms just visit us? <laughs> cool game. Still, this is easier than reading Wired magazine. <laughs> yeah, they're oh. showing us the tubby guy's angioplasty. <laughs> You know, I produced a lot of stuff I don't want the world to see. SAT farms of the future! <laughs> Fingal's problem started the day before we met. He was working in the data flow center of Novocorp as a processor third class. He had a terrible job, monitoring routine data output on global climate control. And its effect on Bugs Bunny. But he thought he'd found a way to outwit the system and do something different with his time. Man, never show a good movie in the middle of your crappy movie. And he'd been doing it for a few weeks before they caught him. Data entering with no pants. <laughs> we now return to Billy Madison. You are creating an efficiency problem. Access is terminated. Report to Psychis now. Report to Psychis now. You know how long it took me to find the cinema bus master? Report to Psychis now. Yes, Aram Fingal from San Juan, Puerto Rico. <laughs> Felicia, can I borrow your machine for a couple of minutes, please? Thank you. UPS fashions of the future! <laughs> Fingal's ability to figure out computers was amazing. It still is. Somehow he'd managed to break into a closed file called Cinemas. Wow. Really, really big brother. The year of the decade 
Hey, someone turn History. off the fat rotating guy. It is Nova Corp that speaks for the future. Only the all-powerful chairman of Nova Corp was allowed access, but Fingal had found a way. His supervisor thought he just had a bad work attitude, so she sent him to a psychist. You know how loony they are. Oh, sure. What have you done, <laughs> Mr. Fingal? Fingal? <laughs> Nothing. Processor, third class. You did something. Merv Griffin. Ask about his mother. Ask if she wears army boots. Do you love your mother? <laughs> My mother, yes, I... She died a long time ago. Efficiency you power. used your computer for unauthorized viewing of cinemas? <laughs> I was just trying to find some way to stay awake. Fingal is out of supervisor's control. The password is Fingal. Ding. Oh, nice yabos. Diagnosis of Fingal is now complete. 48-hour compulsory rehab. Nirvana Village. Prophylactic rehab, Fingal. Retread as condoms? I guess so. Weekend awful at Nirvana Village. And you'll come back to work relaxed with everything solved. Uh -huh. Doctor, nothing's wrong with me. I'm sure you'll have a successful rehab. You can trust my diagnosis, Mr. Uh, Fingal. Fingal. So, aging lesbian nuns run the future. <laughs> Imagine me and you, and you and me. No matter how they toss the dice, we'll always be... Felicia, just got the news. Not good. Fingal, I have data to process. You don't understand. They're sending me off for a compulsory rehab. <laughs> Nova Corp's always generous. It'll do you good. I don't need a rehab. Oh, I'm sure you do, or they wouldn't be sending you. I need other things, Felicia. I need you to seal coat my driveway. You need your rehab, Fingal. I mean, your work attitude isn't exactly what it might be. Everyone's noticed it. How can I concentrate on my data processing when you're sitting across the aisle from me? <laughs> you could get your desk changed. <laughs> Listen, Felicia, I've asked you out 67 <laughs> times. You always say no. Huh? Now I'm going down to the Nirvana Village and being doppled. Big tanning booth. Anything could happen to me. Hello? Fingal's worries about doppling were a little out of date. In the five years I'd worked at Nirvana Village, nothing had ever gone wrong. But of course, almost everyone doppled voluntarily. Hmm. Fingal was my first compulsory doppel. I didn't want to bungle or bobble the Fingal doppel. <laughs> Just sleepwalkers. Hello? I never saw a cinema in their lives. Never saw a Chris Farley movie, Philistines. Nothing antique corp about it. Oh, someone calling on the steel drum. A275, termination in five minutes. <laughs> Okay, so it's my first doppel. I've only dabbled in doppels. <laughs> Maybe it'll be good for me. <laughs> Day two seven. He's staying at Bill Gates' Gates's house. Six seventeen hours. Nirvana Village transport departure. Oh, seven hundred. I hear the transport coming. It's coming around the bend. <laughs> Does this train go uptown? <laughs> Fine-looking guy, the chairman. <laughs> well, he's pregnant, is it? <laughs> so, we'll be down in Nirvana Village any time now, huh? Yes. Have you ever been doppled before? First time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something. Try it as a horse. Stallion. Always good the first time out. That'd be real mega bucks. Hmm. Six, seven hundred. I got 47 credits. What kind of a double do you think that buys? An anteater? Maybe. Whoa, huge slam on anteaters out of nowhere. <laughs> paneling world. Paneling world. Paneling world. Paneling world. Paneling world. Come as you are to my mall, to my <laughs> atrium. Yeah, yeah. Now oh, look, must be a jack in the box in the food court. <laughs> So that's why Fingal was ordered to report to Nirvana reception. And that's when I saw him for the first time. As previously seen. I guess it wasn't just his eyes. He had a special attitude. He didn't quite fit in. I know most people thought he was a pain in the neck, but I never felt that. Even when things were at their worst. Have a good doppel. Okay, Governor. Next. We'll be right there. Okay. I don't. And that's a shame. Maybe you need a polyvinyl coating. <laughs> Compulsory rehab. I was thinking about a stallion. Your credit should take what you can get. What's that? Bollocks! <laughs> a mangy old baboon. A baboon? Name's Daisy. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> What's so funny? 
I don't have to do this, you know. Suit yourself. You rummy lorry. You know the rules. No rehab card, no work. No work, no credits. No credits, nothing. Zip. Oh, I lost a tooth. Doppling room's through there. Bloody Derby. Fashion. My workload that day looked like the usual bunch of Dopplers. People going on short Doppling vacations looking for a new thrill. Having their personalities inserted into wild animals so they could experience the world through different eyes. Oh yeah, old guys becoming pandas, that's the future. Looks that way. I'm Daisy, I like poetry, rotten fruit, and flinging my filth. I just got into Fingal's data file when Jamila came on shift. Yo, Jamila! Okay, kid, my turn. Unless you want to work my shift. Just one sec. Mandatory rehab. Unauthorized interface with locked cinema file. So he'd been scrolling up cinemas. <sighs> yeah, that's been established! That was the word he only heard whispers about. That time, I didn't even know what one was. Of course, I didn't know what string was, either. How do you suppose he managed to scroll up cinemas? It's alt-7. Forget it. That's why he's doing rehab in the starving, worn-out baboon, and we're in here getting fat on Flavo vibes. Yeah, you big tubs. <laughs> well, he opened his syntho Flavo door. <laughs> Good morning, Doppler Fingo. The light shower you will receive will sanitize you so that we can protect the Nirvana Village wildlife. You were supposed to be nude while your suit's clean anyway. This is an identicube. The first step in doppling is to transfer your total identity to the cube. Once the transfer... I learned about identity cubes when I was six, stupid. Lucy! <laughs> the identity cube is then implanted uh -huh. Wait a minute. Blah, 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 blah. Like techno crap, blah, blah. blah. Every minute of your priceless Doppling adventure. 47 credits, every unit I have. Good morning, Mr. Fingal. You are about to begin Doppling. My name is Apollonia Jane. Forgot for a sec. I'm the Computech who will be monitoring your Doppel. Nice baboon. Okay, fine with me. We have to keep to our schedule, Mr. Fingal. Mm -hmm. Now, please sit down. Please, I can see your little Fingal. You'll find a fresh glass of cold reconst next to your chair. <laughs> reconst D, man. We want you to understand about your DP. You know it's ridiculous them sending me here for a rehab. All I did was spend some time looking at cinemas. Yeah, did cinemas. you ever see one? <sighs> no, I'm afraid not. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. They're really something. If you've finished your reconst, Recon we'd better get on with my explanation. Since you are a first-time Doppler, we'll be installing a DP, that's a Doppel plug, in your brain. Ooh. What? The DP is a permanent installation, so making your identicube in the future will just be a matter of a few moments. It causes no pain, and is easily covered by any normal hair growth. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, I, I changed my mind some other time. Sit down, Mr. Fingal. You need to tinkle, Fingal? Nothing to worry about. How about some Pringles, Fingal? Trust me. Just gonna bandsaw the top of your head Just off. Just relax. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Not that deep. <laughs> you might be interested to know that Doppeln comes from the German Doppelganger, mm. meaning double or twin. We were gonna call it Strudelganger, but... Have a good safari, Mr. Fingal. I seem to have died, is that okay? <laughs> Beauty school dropout. <laughs> Boy, I envy him right now. <laughs> like, the comic relief lady is making me very tense. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, sorry about that, fella. The right tots. Welcome to the level students of School 592. Have you Your seen Marco? has now reached the Doppling transit Marco? zone. You are requested to respect the Don't fondle the Doppels! Doppelers. Marco! Oh, um, what's this? A routing tag. Each color has a different destination. Green for the slumber room, yellow for organ transplant, and so on. And blue, like this? Well, that's rather unusual. We can talk about it later. Is it sexy? We'll talk about it later. Now come along. The class is waiting in the doppling room. Oh, that little is sexual deviant. <laughs> Kill him. Remember not to touch anything. You'll grow hair on your palms. <laughs> no! Oh, Daisy, 
You could have got mustard all over his Ow. brain. Is his brain sexy? Brains don't have feelings. You told us that. I also told you to wipe your hands clean after eating. The children of the damn day at the oh, Brain yeah. Institute here? Isn't eating is when you sit down. All right. Wipe your hands after eating and snacking. into a toad. Dummy, only a retard would want to be a medico. Wow. Nice talk. All right, class. What is the medico doing? Making an identity. That's right. Making a copy of his whole identity. And what is it called? There's a precious Canadian healthcare system at work. <laughs> Computech James, you may access the Fingal personal data file. His mother was Emmeline Osmondo Fingal. Hello, dear. Deceased. <laughs> Aram Fingal was educated at Bosni Wash Central, graduated 997th in his class. Okay, uh, uh, when I unplug the Identicube, cube, yeah. you'll have a blank till it's inserted into the host. Right, okay? Bye bye, Fingal. Get that cat out of here. Hey, stereo cats. Dr. Marsha Clark. Mm -hmm. Preparations for Fingal Double are complete. 48-hour double begun. Doctor Who, the hell cares? <laughs> yeah, isn't it weird how life imitates art and I'm like sleeping right now too? Yeah. Oh. Whistler's baboon in repose. Hey! I'm double! And I'm on film suddenly! At least I'm not an anteater. This movie just hates anteaters. Believable. Oh, I gotta run in these. They're not new. Much to look at. It's gonna be pretty boring just sitting on this rock all day. Hey, wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. I got here first. This is my rock. That's sex discrimination. How's Daisy doing? Holding her own. She just might make it all the way through this dump. Surely this will cure him of his love of cinemas. <laughs> This is costing me every credit I have. He's gonna start flinging it any minute now. <laughs> hey, that looks more exciting. Hey, extreme babooning. Oh, looks like fun. I wonder if I could do that. Yeah, that does look fun, Mike. If I could do that, I'd basically never stop. Yep. Can't get the hang of it. It's harder than I thought. I'm as clumsy as a stupid repulsive anteater. <laughs> Single. Seven hours of doppling time elapsed. Program proceeding normally. Here, boy. Come on, honey. Henry, where are you? Henry. Come on. Come on, honey. Come on down. It's honey. okay. Hi. Hi. Henry. Henry, come on. Honey. Come on, boy. Hi, Mike. Hi. Hello. Okay, uh, who wants to start? Uh, Crota. Uh, sir, uh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, Mike, we like Daisy in the movie so much, we thought it'd be fun to have a monkey. Oh, yeah, so we ordered one from Instant Monkeys Online, and yeah. it came instantly, just like the ad says. <clears throat> Get your monkeys instantly with Instant Monkeys Online! <laughs> <laughs> and, and as soon as it got here, it escaped from its box, and it submissively urinated all over your shoes. Yeah. So, uh, what? what? Well, yeah. it, we think it's a sign of affection. Yeah. Anywho, Henry got all scared, and now he's hiding up in the rafters or something. Henry. Yeah, we named him Henry Kissinger because of his scalp. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh! Whoa! Whoa. Careful, Whoa. Mike! What? Incoming! Your aggressive what? stance is threatening Henry! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? You need uh, to adopt uh, a passive uh, posture. Now, now stoop down uh, and, and to the right. Good. No, no, no. Okay. Your right hand is threatening yeah, him, Mike. Yeah. Okay, right. put it up around your head. Okay. Good. good. Yeah. Okay, now lull your head around like a marionette. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, stroke your chest. Stroke your chest. No, no, use the back of your hand. Are you crazy? Now bob up and down and ook very softly. Are you, are you sure? Oh, ook. Okay. Ook. 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 It's working. Drool. Okay. There, there. You see? Henry Kissinger Ooh. likes you. <laughs> Drool a little more. Drool. Ah, uh, yes, he thinks you're his mother. Oh, oh that's so cute. So, huh, what do you know? Commercial sign. Ah, uh, well, I'll see you, Mike. Bye. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, where are you guys going? Oh, careful, Mike. Your monkey's mad at you again. I will be right back. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, Mike. Funny. Okay. Funny. What happened to him? <laughs> he looks drunk to me. I'm on medication, okay? Corp 25. There's the possibility 
of some minor damage to some of the Dopplers. Mm. Nothing serious, but it's that time of year again. Lent? The Maruba fruit's ripe. Some of the Dopplers are getting drunk. Remember last year? Very, very, very refreshing. <laughs> Just like a nice cold martini. That monkey's been in and out of Hazelden so many times. So, they dappled Oliver Reed and Peter O'Toole, huh? I love you guys, and now we're gonna graduate. I'm never gonna see you guys again, man. Oh, I feel awful. Daisy still managing? Sort of. How about Gatsby? She found the Maruba trees. <laughs> Daisy, don't move. I'll be sick. <laughs> She's vomiting blood. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a, uh, I don't know. The days of Maruba fruit and roses. Have you gained weight? No. I feel better up here. Mm. Fresh air. Times Square. Hey, wait a minute. What's that elephant do? Well, hold it, hold it, wait a minute. Hey, I'm not a baboon. I'm hey, a human bar, cut it out. Get me out. I want right out now. Out. Override priority. Emergency disengage. Site at Fingal, Site Kenya Park, disengage. Sector J21, Emergency Code Red. Out of paper. Do, do be here. Sleep room. Input your data. We need a subject ahead of schedule. Name's Aram Fingal. Okay, can you, can you spell that for me, please? Yeah. F-I-N-G-A-L. I gained an ounce. What's going on? What a mess. Look. Passion. Oh, Red, you know what that means? We'll be here all night filling in compustats. You don't have to suffer through it. I was on duty. I'll handle it. No way. We'll both suffer. Woo. What's we'll happened here? They brought Daisy in. She's in the Doppling room, and Ooh. the medical's ready. Ralph Malf here. Damn, why couldn't Slavin have been off duty? We're waiting. Where's Fingal's body? I called 2B and must be on his way. Must be some snafu Apollonia. We never had no any uh, Aram Fingal. Mm -hmm. It must be there. They brought him up yesterday. Economy compulsory rehab. Look again, Tubi. He is so Pat Benatar. I'm notifying Slavin now. Lexicor 1E5. I have to speak to Walenda Irving. Urgent. Yes. The flying Walenda, yes. I have some interesting news for you, Mr. Irving. I finally touched her. Unauthorized intercorp communication intercept. And Missy Sweets is having a free brunch. Woo! Oh, teppanyaki and video bar. Nice. Lexicorp World News just issued a bulletin. Novacorp stock is plummeting. It dropped 20 points in the last two minutes. What are you going to do? Eat. Identical. <laughs> Elizabeth Clare Prophet and David Duchovny look on. <laughs> My lunchbox can withstand a nuclear blast. I found him? We will. Just find my mark here. Here it is. The interface and identity... Blah, 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 blah. Techno bolt a subject. Watch this with me, Slavin. Put on a pink top and watch this with me. We just lost Watson. He came here. We wanted him. Best technician in the department. We were pressing your pants. Uh, uh, all right, let's, let's make this short. Oh, why start now? <laughs> Patient's identicube was connected to the computer while cloning was attempted. Uh, cube must remain active or electron loss results. Sorry, I ran over here. <sighs> we used the central computer to simulate life experience, but we had to set up a control interface from outside. <laughs> we used Watson to complete the interface. There was, there was no other way to keep contact. David Bowie in a brilliant cameo. She was going too fast for me. But if I was to get Fingal out of trouble, I had to understand everything. Fair. So I punched up additional information included in the file. Mm -hmm. Identicube, computer interface. And other crap. To achieve interface, the subject's personality is transferred from his Identicube into the computer. It's just a furnace a filter. technician outside the computer must then maintain constant contact with the subject. Lay on him. Warning, sudden increases in energy flow can totally erase the technician's identity. We plugged Watson in to monitor. What happened? I, <laughs> I wouldn't have done it if I'd realized the awful danger he was in. <laughs> Watson was tired, but still maintaining contact. <laughs> then there was some kind of negative energy surge. Energy surge! As if the computer sucked everything in. Sucked. Let's go with that word, movie. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh God, Watson's identity was sucked in too. I gotta get back to the 10K. <laughs> he was still breathing. <laughs> Vital signs fine, but he wasn't there. A blank brain. Hooray for socks. <laughs> Listen, don't do it. Don't risk anyone's life this way. Nothing's worth it. <laughs> you see what she's wearing? I was responsible for Fingal. I'll make the connection. God, I want to make you over. I wish I hadn't seen that tape. Are you going to allow this interface? Do you have any other ideas? Well, how do you know what he'll do in there? I can control my own computer. Of course you can, under normal circumstances. You are not responsible, Gondol. I suggest your interference is less than appropriate for angle interface. Ready. Initiate Harp O'Hare. All right. We're ready to begin. Proceed. Interface initiated. Mustache visible. <laughs> Warning. Six hours of cube life remain before automatic destruct. Huh. <laughs> Must be Christmas on the Borg ship. <laughs> See you. On the dark side of Raul. Oh, look, it's embarrassing. The poor dope figures if he can't see the camera, the camera can't see him. Is that you, Fester? <laughs> you know, with this digital technology, the suckiness comes through with great clarity. <laughs> Absolutely. What happened? Probably ate too many flavor fives. Last thing I knew, I was about to be killed by an elephant. I should have wrapped him up in cellophane. It was eerie, watching Fingal creating his own reality simulation around him. Well, maybe you should get some flavor fives. <laughs> Especially since he didn't even know he was doing it. Must be something in that recon she gave me. Recon. Ready for external Connect. tracking personnel interconnect. Connect. Connect. Miss James, please begin tracking Fingal. He's in there. Wait. Switch to analog. It has a warmer sound. <laughs> Locate as fast as you can. Why don't you reconst your flavor fire? I, <laughs> <like this. laughs> I was living two lives at the same time. Part of me was outside the computer, in my office, talking with Slavin and Jamila, but I was inside too, trying to maintain contact with Finkel so I could keep in constant touch with him. It's a Viv Savage Christmas ornament. <laughs> contact. Oh, wait, no, uh, Yahtzee. I better call for a medical. Yeah, I'm the voice comm flavor link since... Ah. This phone is no longer available for outgoing calls. Wait a minute, I paid my bill. Get me the service manager. Do not interrupt, please. You cannot make calls to the external world. What? Trust me, Fingal. No outgoing calls. Who's this? Go to work. I'll explain when I can. Just stick to your routine, no surprises. If you do anything unexpected, I may not be able to track you. Listen, either I'm nuts or you are. I'll be in touch. You know, I bet nobody ever scrolls up this cinema. <laughs> Go to work. But I'm an actor. Then it's morning. Mike, it's eerie, watching Fingal create his own reality simulation around him. <laughs> Very eerie. It was essential to always keep an exact sync with Fingal. Uh -huh. It was the only way we'd be able to find him when we were ready to put him back in his own body. Are you ready to put him back in his own body? When he accepted the simulation of Novocorp, I sensed he was still confused. Or stupid. <laughs> I had to get in there and explain things to him. But I'd have to simulate someone he'd really trust. Fingal. What? Now this, is this off? Mom. Hello, Sonny. What are you doing here? Why aren't you Puerto Rican? It's an entirely healthy question, son. The fact is, I'm being electronically simulated. Whoa! Mom, my nuts. My nuts? No, what dear, but uh, this is all in your mind. Oh, my God. There's been a big goof up, and you're still... Shh, there. they're talking about his area. Negative input. Fingal's too curious, girl's too eager to help. Pork delivery's late. <laughs> Might blurt out delicate information. We've tucked you away in the HX-368 computer for safekeeping. Yum, Swedish Puerto Rican cooking. It's the finest holocaust to made. Mom, you died a long time ago. I haven't seen you in 15 years. Better late than never, Sonny. <laughs> Gotta get me some of that soup. 
Your instructions understood. I will simulate a presence to threaten them. Carol Channing. Go on, eat up. Mm -hmm. While your mother tells you something important. Don't talk about your private parts in public. Who loves you, baby? Jamila, something weird. Feels like somebody else is interfacing, too. Wear a cup and wash right. Oh, gotta go. Going, Sonny. Wait, 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 Mom. I ordered salad. Meet me after work. Here. These will keep the swelling down. Sonny! Sonny! The whole world's at sixes and sevens, Sonny! Is she on the ceiling? You want your spoon back? What is this cyst in my ear? Someone beat up George Will! Good. Yes. <laughs> in about an hour? I don't think so. <laughs> Clara Barton's getaway car. <laughs> Look, it's the Agent Pee Wee up there. What happened? A most unfortunate accident. Poor woman ran across the street. Mm. A truck came around the corner and hit her. <laughs> hit her. <laughs> May I trouble you for a light, sir? But who's he, who's he trying to do? Uh, Jimmy Stewart? Uh, James Cagney. No, 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 wait, wait. Uh, John Kenneth Galbraith. No, no, no. Ram Dass. Uh, Terry Hulk Hogan, maybe? Or... Everybody goes to the place. You know, when they have to go... You're fine, bar, sir. May I recommend it to you? So, down one mother, up a matchbook. Not too bad. Listen, the call to script rewrites. <laughs> Very sacred. Let's see, I'll uh, take an old gourd and some filth. Well, pop on a fez and eat some couscous, I guess. Formerly that other place. Yeah, they hired a huge consulting firm for millions of bucks, and this is the name they came up with. Appearing tonight, Slayer! Yeah, they brought a non-perishable food item so he gets in free. Your monkeys instantly... Oh, crap! Down! <laughs> You guys, come and do something about your monkey. You guys. Oh, right now, Pearl's calling. And now, a very special preview of a special Pledge Week special. We are so fortunate to present to you, our viewer, Pearl, Pearl. Pearl, Pearl, Pearl. I know a 
couple of guys. I... They really do like pie. And, and loving, loving lovers, lovers love as loving lovers love. Golden, shimmering, lustrous, lovely, loving, love. What a performer. The lovely, leggy, Pearl Forrester. Hey, I can sing too. And now you find yourself in 82. Oh. Okay, come on, fur face. Oh. oh, is that all you got, banana breath? Come on, show me something good. Oh, okay, must be my birthday. Here it comes. Oh, oh. oh. Remember this, this movie really sucks. <laughs> because it's fly soup, sir, that's why. Are you buying or selling, sailor? What's going on here? Now I'm making up my own movies? Well, could you make up a better one than this? Hey, the Mater D's Ted Baxter. Hey, a midget rabbi cowboy. Look, behind him. <laughs> yippee oy vey What am I to do? Can't tell me. Mike, is that lady sick? I hope so. Lola likes you, Philly. Not now, sweetheart. He's got some talking to do all right, but with me. Hmm. Tell the piano player to play anything you want, Lola. Drinks on the house. That's kind of inconvenient. Lola will okay. see you later, Philly. I'm gonna score with me tonight. Yeah. Oh, I? Falling in love again. Sexy. Fingal, we have to talk about all this. Apollonia, is it you? What are you doing here? Will you please stop trying to figure things out? You're making it harder on me. I'm making it harder. My mother, who died years ago, tells me I'm not real. I'm inside the Novacorp central computer. That's right. Then she gets run we over set up by the a truck. Till we find your body. We've got one on back order. You lost my body. What's this? It's a simulation. You've created a kind of reality inside the computer. When do I get out? We'll find you, don't worry. But we can't just leave your cube lying around while we look for the rest of you. Sishtar. All you have to do is relax and please don't mess things up. And come to my BVM One Woman show. I'm not the one who messed things up in the first place, am I? Am I? All right, Fingo. You once said I was a warped, frustrated. <laughs> All right, Fingo. Wow, Tom Wolf with a thyroid problem. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Mm -hmm. We're doing the best we can. All I can eat, the joke's on them. I have to go. Hmm? Wait a minute. I want out of this movie, too. I can't keep this up. If your life is normal. Normal? Is it normal when the woman you're talking to turns into a head with a veil hanging down over nothing? Shh. I think you better be going now, Fingo. Come back to my place any time. We're getting a karaoke machine. I'll have what I'm having. <laughs> Stay away from the fat man, Mr. Fingo. He smells like feet. Ding. Formerly the locale. So well, that's who was after Fingal. I figured I'd better lie low for a bit. The fat man was, in fact, the Novacorp chairman. I can't believe I'm making the whole thing up. Most assuredly, sir. The whole ball of wax. David Brenner. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can't walk too fast or he'll run out of set. There was only one way to keep a lid on things. Fingal had to go back to his old work routines. It was boring, but it was the only way to keep him out of trouble. So more boring, then. <sighs> The chairman's getting involved was bad news. He could call off the search for Fingal's body. Five hours of cube life remain before automatic destruct. I'd only been monitoring Fingal for an hour, but it felt like years. Yeah, tell us about it. 
Now, these are all the people who are writing scripts for Parker Posey. I should have known. As soon as Fingal was back at work, data processing his old board and research. I can't stand this anymore. I'm so bored. Okay, which one of us said that? I felt it. <laughs> Maybe I had to put up with it out there, but not in here. I'm going to get a Glock and mow these people down. Listen! We're nothing more than a bite in a giant computer! I'm, I'm okay, okay with that. that. That's right. If you don't watch out, you're going to get yourself into real trouble. If you're so bored, there are a lot of little things you can change. Okay, Miss Computech Apollonia James. I will! My coffee coupon. <laughs> Oops, I leaked. <laughs> I'm gonna give the hell out of these flowers. That steams my mustache. I am working, Mr. Fingal. Listen, Felicia, why don't we just walk out of here, go back to my place and make love? Whoa, I want to work in data entry. Is that your idea of a joke? <laughs> you want to get us fired? Not a satisfactory reply, Felicia. Oh, there's a fly in here. What's that? Kill myself? Okay, not a problem. No, no, no. shall Stay. we go back to my ah. place and make love? This is sexual harassment, and I'm gonna take it. Whoa. Look familiar, Mike? Uh, probably not. Yeah. Not for you. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Big boy. Well, I'm actually size doesn't matter, boy. <laughs> I wouldn't wish that no good drone on anyone. Now he started playing around with himself. Whoa! Oh, man. man, kids are tuning in right now to watch Barney. <laughs> so I sing you to synth those sleep after the techno love. Oh, not now, Felicia, please. Why not? Well, it's all we did last night and the night before. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. <laughs> Frankly, I'm bored. That's why you kept saying William Hurt's name. Bored. Well, we could spice things up. Maybe invite Thing to watch. <laughs> I didn't even get this far before they're crying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mike. You know, if only she had turned into a cold beer, it would have been perfect. Oh, is that the lady's beeping? Yeah. You're too much, Fingal. Hmm? You know that? Wait a minute. You're the one who told me to change things if I didn't like them. And this is what you mean by changing things? Why not? I'm entitled to a little bit of happiness, happiness. aren't I? <laughs> you were raised Catholic. Happiness. Listen to me, Fingal. Your navel's very deep. I can't even see to the bottom of it. What? But if you fall what? in, I can't guarantee what to pull you talking out. About? What is it with you? First you tell me to go out and change things instead of sitting around. Now you want me to sit around? Why don't you go try to figure out what you want and then come back? Yeah. What I want is to get you back inside your body and be rid of you. Fine! Bang? I want to get back to my life, too, you know. Oh, if this one-handed exercise is all you can think of to do with your life, Whoa. you're a very little man, and I'm very disappointed in you. Is this still the officially sanctioned boring part? You had me fooled. You replaced my coffee with Folger's crystals. I was beginning to think that you were someone special. It's a good thing we don't have to like each other, isn't it? Because you're definitely not my kind of woman. Ooh. Ooh, well, now you are, actually. <laughs> Filmed in soap opera vision. I can't go on with this. We'll return to Days of Our Fingal after this. Oh, did they just switch to the dinner menu here? I'm trying to do the right thing, Fingal. But I'm not sure what that is. Well, slapping them seemed like a good start. You're yep. going to have to tell me what to do. Okay. I will. Let's slip into something more virtual. Here's looking at you, kid. Here's looking at you, Tant. Here's looking at you, Biquitous. Here's looking at you, Lissies. Mm -hmm. All the public television stations in the world. That was some short circuit. Yeah. <laughs> I hate these things. Hey, don't bogart that, man. I thought you weren't going to make waves. It just That's happened. Good. I didn't do anything on purpose. It's just, I've had it. If I'm in charge of what happens to me in here, I'm not going to go on being a zombie like all those other zombies at work. I'll be a better zombie. So what are you going to do? I don't know. But I've got to get the hell out of here. Novi Corp isn't helping. 
So I guess I'm gonna have to punch my own buttons for a change. Ah, you've been doing enough of that, mister. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa! Kitchen alert! Who's that guy? Crap. And I'm running the prime rib special he tonight. Dirty finger when he plays for good. So do I, Rick. And it's my play now. What say you and me, uh -huh. Ooh, more 80s video technology. I couldn't believe it. Fingal was going to try to reprogram the HX-368 while he was still inside it. Well, that's what I found out later, talking to the screenwriter. I, uh, did you lose your bananas? Would you leave me alone? I don't want any fruit. He couldn't get his Casablanca fantasy out of his head. And Casablanca gets really hot during the summer. Invalid format. Quit or retry. Contact your network administrator. <laughs> What is your access code? I bite my five and a quarter floppy. Fingal was taking on the mainframe computer that more <sighs> or less ran the world. Now I was terrified. If he did manage to write his own programs, anything could happen. But no matter what, we won't he show was it. was stubborn. Invalid format. Quit or retry. I keep on till I crack you open. Fingal, you have to do oh, something man. about the heat. We can't work. What do you expect? This is Casablanca, 103, and probably getting hotter. Hey, get lost, Cat Stevens. <laughs> can't you find some other reality? Why don't you see your psychic? I'm not giving up my fantasies, lady. Not for you or anyone else. And you don't exist, so just uh, disappear, will you? I mean, you smell like you exist, but... You can sit there all day. I'm not seeing any psychist. From now on, I'm doing what I want to do. Get it? Angus Young. <laughs> Apollonia. Listen, I don't understand how you did it, but what happens in here could have an effect out there. You can't just play games, Fingal. Yeah. Apollonia. Oh, now she's Joan Blondell again. Over weeks. Get back to work, Fingal. You make me tingle, Fingal. Fingal, are you single? Give me a jingle. <laughs> oh, good one. What is your access code? Where do you want to go today? All over this movie. <laughs> That's where I want to go. <laughs> Invalid format. Quit or retry. I'll take quit for quit 25, Alex. Try. Okay. We both take a break. We both said things we'll regret. Hey, Fingal, can't you do something about the heat? Well, some like it hot and some sweat when the heat is on. <laughs> Your new backyard. Oh, I wandered into the ladies' room. And that's why they stay in there so long. Yeah, those ladies, they get everything. Man, ladies. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Fingal. I trust you're enjoying Casablanca. Very amusing city, fat man. I have a communication for you. Bite me. Uh, thanks, but I have an appointment. Hey, Fingal, where are you going? The boss would like to talk to you. Shut up and listen. Good of you to spare me the time, Mr. Fingal. <laughs> I will be brief. <coughs> How is it be? Want you to know that they've discovered what happened to your body. They found me? I discovered <laughs> that one of the children <laughs> who observed your doppling <laughs> laid a little joke on you. He switched the tag from your body to another body. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> well, unfortunately, <laughs> The little rascal wouldn't remember uh, what color uh, tag he put on your body. Breathing knocks the wind out of this guy. <laughs> Even after rather intensive questioning. <laughs> but there is still hope. How much hope? Uh, that depends on you, Fingal. <laughs> if you persist in trying to interfere with the HX-368 programs, I guarantee your body will not be found in time. Don't threaten me, fat man. Well, this is what happens when you have to put off-season Santas to work. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Grab hold of the watercress. <laughs> I don't make threats, Mr. Fingal. Only promises. Oh, and a great pork roll. <laughs> <laughs> He's a towel, Fingal. Those damn thugs giving him a towel. Quit <laughs> crying, Fingal, too. Formerly the site. <laughs> Boy, Morocco must be moving. They got all their stuff in these boxes here. <laughs> oh, blessed Saint Humphrey. 
He wandered into an English pub. Sorry, mate. The pony. Quick, stupid, you got hit. They're shooting darts at us. Always the curare fatal within two seconds. Oh my god. We're on! The Yuga Booga tribe! Systems tough on me. I'll be okay. You look after yourself. Good job is looking after you, and you sure are making it easy. Look out, butter knives. You think I'm the one who's trying to kill me? You're crazy, Apollonia. Can you just shut up and listen? This is no time for a serious conversation. <gasps> the fiends, they're bombing rattan shops. I don't know what all this is about, Stingle, but you've got to stop trying to reprogram the computer. Yeah, I guess that's what they think, too. We put you into the HX-368 to keep you safe. You owe us. I'm just trying to save my ass, and right now I'm having a damn hard time of it. He said ass. Listen, I know you're trying to do your job, but please, why don't you get out of here? Oh, she's trying to impersonate Ingmar Bergman, isn't she? I've got a fever for the flavor of Fingal. You can't stay here. Damn trendy cigar bars. Apollonia? I'm sorry, sorry. He's a village people. <laughs> he thought I was a blackmail construction worker. It's cute. <laughs> Well, I killed that rhino. Okay. Let's try alphanumerics. Start with a two-letter prefix. Very good. Thank you. <sighs> you know, I'd rather watch the kind of hackers who spit a lot. <laughs> HX3698. Ooh, a bug on my desk. I got access. Abscess? Varicose desk. We cracked the code to scrubbing bubbles. <laughs> scrubbing bubbles. It's a raining man. Hallelujah. Ready for our game of battleship, sir? <laughs> Storms program for today? No, sir. I knew it. Fingal's access to Ken. Well, they have ducks in their computer. <laughs> oh, whole lot of plaque in your arteries, sir. <laughs> what? Seven copies collated. Attention, all personnel leave now. Gotcha, fat man. Yeah, see, these guys, they were rejected for men without hats. Oh, <laughs> really bad musicians, huh? No, see, they wear hats. So. Oh, so the brim gets in their way of reading the music? No, look, forget it. Just never mind. <laughs> Fat Guys Marathon, 26.2 feet. <laughs> in the future, puerile bruises will still work. Started with HX. <sighs> Gotta relax with my Game Boy for a minute. Yeah, then what? The variants? Oh no, oh no. What if this is still the pre credit sequence? Got oh. it. Just... Repeat it 368. Oh. And my garage door should open. I, Y, four, seven, nine. Oh, oh I get it, because they're wearing hats. <laughs> yeah. That's good, Mike. Right? Sherlock. Mm. It's a hologram of the effectiveness of liquid plumber. Chairman's got really bad dandruff. <laughs> this is how much pure cocaine you would need to enjoy this movie. Yeah. yeah so this is public television, huh? Yep. Suddenly I feel like beating the crap out of Fred Rogers. I know. I'm not making this up. I'm not cleaning it up either. I gotta find Rick. London weather reports hurricanes and blizzards. Thames River flooding Parliament. Florida. Fingles accessed by weather Paris interface. And I'm out of cutlets. Abort new program <laughs> soonest. Invalid format. Quit or retry. Iceland and Greenland in midst of heat waves. He couldn't have done all this. What, love is a battlefield? <laughs> is this how you control that lunatic? It's summer and there is a blizzard out there. 
Rain and typhoons in the south. Flood, cyclone. Everything is out of control. James, am I mistaken? Or are you deep fried? Are you not an employee of Novacorp? Of course I am. And you have certain loyalties to us? Yes, Mr. Fat. All right. Stop romanticizing. Find him. Chastise him. If there is one more catastrophe, we will not deliberate. We will terminate him. Oh no, ear police. Uh, it's changed ownership. Now it's a gentleman's club. Well, Mr. Fingal, you've created quite an event, sir. This is the beginning, Pierre, now that he can input his own program. Hey, Rick, I just stumbled into it. Ah, yes, Mr. Geffen is expecting you. You're too modest, Mr. Fingo. He's just getting started, Pierre. Yeah. He could be a contender. Come on, I didn't do anything. You did a hell of a lot, and you're gonna do a damn sight more. Yeah, <laughs> I guess yeah. I made some waves. It's a pleasure, my dear sir, to see the waves you made. Hey, 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 don't do that thing with your finger when you shake my hand. <laughs> God, I told you you're barred from here till you pay your pass tab. Back off the stick, no, cut the engine, cut. Um, that's poison oak on your naughty bits, ma'am. The Polonia? This gal just needs to go home, wait for him to call. Is it really you? Or just a fig leaf of my imagination. <laughs> Here's some more commandments, I forgot. Thou shalt not screw around with things thou dost not understand. Thou shalt not meddle in Novacorp hardware. Or Novacorp shall hold thee the responsible. Thou shalt not break out of HX368. Thou shalt not program. Where's my body? Hold thy horses, wait it out. And thou shalt soon see the light at the end of the tunnel. I promise, no more meddling around. And you didn't need all that pizzazz. You're enough. Do you have these in pocket size? Goddess of Transitorium. Yeah. Promise me. Promise me. So, uh, where's the monkey? Oh, never mind him, Mike. Come on, synth my doppel down to the nanites and monitor both my cute time and my fingal time. Hey, well, why are you so eager to get down to that nanite world? Oh, you know, I'm feeling a little wicked. Want to go down there and mess with the little shrimps. You know, have a few laughs. Just shake them up. <laughs> Gee, that doesn't sound very nice, huh? Oh, no, I won't be too hard on them. Just rattle their cages a little bit. Yank their chains. Push them around. Just get a few kicks, you know. Kicks! <laughs> yeah, well, well, don't be too rough on them, okay? Ah, yeah, just dapple my finger. I'll show you some fun stuff. Right. <laughs> hey, nanites! Hey, little pipsqueaks, a giant walks among you. Ooh, looks like I landed in a rough part of town here. <laughs> hey, hello! Where are those little idiots anyway? Well, 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 ah. what do we have here, Mookie? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, Slicer. Looks like a college boy to me. Um, hi, fellas. <laughs> so, Mookie, that I just hear this punk calling me an idiot? Oh, no, no, not you. No. Well, so what? You, you call me an idiot then? A oh, college the, boy? Um, excuse me a second. Mike, you didn't have to synth me down quite so small. <sighs> I'm sorry, Tom. It's out of my control. <laughs> What's up, Mike? Oh, uh, servo syntho doppel thing is down in the nanite world. Huh. Come around this in our neighborhood, Mr. College. No, no, no. You know you're gonna take a no. pee. Hold it, Slicer. Oh, oh, boy, help. Oh, oh, come on, guys. I've never even been to college. Please, please help me. Wow. Oh, Servo's doppel's getting his butt kicked. You think we should bring him out? Nah, teach him a lesson, you know? No, yeah. Tough love, right? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> oh, Henry, there you are. <laughs> Got what a happened? headache. I don't know. Oh, he'll be He'll fine. stay in line now. Great. They're going to owe you, Apollonia. Oh. I bet you get a promotion out of this if you don't blow everything by fighting with the chairman. 
I don't care about a promotion. That loony Fingo's starting to get to you, isn't he? He's not crazy. Well, sure, he eats mittens, but... I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have gone in there like that. Yeah. Warning. 60 minutes to cube destruct. I'll just add more toner. Tubi here. <laughs> Time's running out, Tubi. We're close. We've only got two areas left to search. He, he's got to be in one of them. Keep me posted, will you, Tubi? Or not, Tubi. Thanks. <laughs> Maybe that just keeps chucking rectangles at you. Could Woody Allen bring a lawsuit against these people? I don't think Woody's going to be bringing too many lawsuits against anyone, frankly. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt, Fingo. It's the law. You're in for a bumpy ride. Well, it's now all about Eve. Why don't they just have the Bowery Boys come through the movie? <laughs> all out. Heard you were leaving. I have something caught in my teeth. Hold on. <laughs> Probably just as well. <laughs> now Sinatra shows up? I can't stay here, Rick. Going to work every day, behaving like a good boy, like I promised Apollonia. You promised Apollonia? There's no way out. And I don't have much time left. So you're gonna go out crying? Yes, and wedding, actually. <laughs> Thought you were gonna try for something really big. Ah, uh, Hitler. Or a guy in front. Yeah. Mr. Fingo! Santa! I see, I'm in time. For what, fat man? I've taken the liberty of arranging for some papers for you. Uh, passport, uh, exit visa, that sort of thing. And I'm big boned, by the way. <laughs> Your most recent reports were very positive, Mr. Fingal. Oh. Isn't that just great? You'd be very wise to think of traveling and enjoying yourself. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna do, Fingal? Enjoy yourself? Mm -hmm. Layoff, will you, Rick? Let's just get through the movie. I don't have to be a big man. <laughs> It was crazy of me to try reprogramming the HX-368. <laughs> Luckily, you stopped in time. da 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 die da 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 crap Come on, Fingal! The plane is leaving! You're gonna spend the rest of your life playing it straight. <sighs> it's my only chance. <laughs> if you'd made any more trouble for them, Mr. Fingal, they would have been forced to erase your existence here. That would have been most unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I would have found my own way to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, burped up a cape on. You think he can't do it? I think he's a fool to risk everything for his silly games. I guess that's what he was doing. The hell I was. Mike, he said hell. Plane, Mr. Fingal, you don't want to miss it. There's nothing more boring than playing it safe, Fingal. Let me accompany you to the plane, Mr. Fingal. Shut up, fat man! You, you anteater. Better safe than dead, Rick. That's a matter of opinion. Mr. Fingal, we're ready for takeoff. Here, fat man, you take the trip. And yes, there's a meal. <laughs> My compliment! You're a very foolish man, Mr. Fingal. A lot of face. From now on, whatever happens is your responsibility. Is that clear? To Wendy's. <laughs> I'll be glad to hear you'll be staying on for a while. Look, they're holding hands with himself. Da 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 suck. <laughs> da 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 go away. Da da and 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 and. Okay. Here I'll show you why they call me Frenchy. <laughs> Wipe your windshield clean with Rainex. Mm, my watch is delicious. Mm. Oh, Finkel. Warning. You have 28 minutes to cube destruct. Identity cube may begin loss of personality traces. Please concentrate. You must not let the contact with Fingal be broken. More gravy! Pity about that, Mr. Chairman. You might not have another chance. Neither will Fingal. I've added a new security lock to the access program. Now he can go on trying forever. <laughs> <laughs> How's your homework, honey? Thanks, Pierre. Any progress, sir? No, the bastard changed the access code on me. I have to start all over from square one. I'm confident you'll find a way, Mr. Fingal. Thank you, Floyd the pervert. <laughs> Sorry, Fingal, but we're gonna have to open up in a few minutes. Roll some setups. Sure, I'm not getting anywhere anyway. Is that a tick she keeps fiddling with? You have lost contact with Fingal. 
Please try to regain it. You are letting your emotions disrupt your concentration. Wait a minute. My nuts! <laughs> Why didn't I think of that before? It's so simple. Reverse the access code. He probably thought I'd never try something so simple. You know, if this works, I'm gonna spank you, movie. <laughs> Notions. Welcome, Aram Fingal. I offer you access to my program. Yeah, he offers access to anybody. Yeah. I'm requesting program access. I'm requesting movie jump up my butt. What program do you wish to call up, Aram Fingal? Fingal's access to get. I want more butter on my ham. <laughs> hear no movie, see no movie, be no movie. Oh, I can hear my hands roar. I've got She's found him. Ah, sir, the brisket. Finkel, I've got to talk to you. Watchtower, damn it! Finkel! You and I must have another little... Bring door. out your dad! We're closed, fat man. How about good, sir, that the fat man always emerges just after she has made contact again? Wait a minute. Apollonia wouldn't give me a way to him. Apollonia. No one's saying she would, kid, but it sure looks like she's part of it. Oh, excuse me, were we supposed to do some readings for this movie? Did I miss some? <laughs> well, a lot of pencils stuck up there. Let me get you some juice and then I leave. Tingle? Would you like to mingle? Maybe a slice of Danish Kringle? Take it easy, exhausted. That's not what happened. He shut me out. Maintaining contact takes the both of us. Find him again, Miss James, at once. We must not lose contact. Were we just yelled at by a pork roast? He's been using me to track Fingal. Hasn't he? You're saying I'm fat, aren't No you? wonder he disconnected. Disconnect did, not that I give a flying. I'm never... Finally, I killed my virtual pet. Okay. Let's try escalate axis. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah. <laughs> phase we... two. <laughs> you have reached phase two. You now can program all intercorp and personal financial transactions. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, fang. <laughs> better than watching fireworks. Genius, pure genius. Couldn't save this film. Beginning redistribution of Novi Corp shares. I'm farting Monopoly cards. June Dunn, 0.5 shares Novi Corp. Matthew Carson, 80 mega credits. Well, they're all Polish getting credits where credits are due. Lois <laughs> Berman, 350 credits. William Gardner, 87 shares Novi Corp. Hey, he followed us home. Can we keep him? Fingal! Where was he? Uh, he was in the food service freezer. They were gonna chip him and cream him and serve him over toast till someone that noticed. That kid has some sense of humor. Yeah, whatever. Scram, Floby. He was next in line for a sex change operation. Much good that does us now. We've got the body, but we can't do anything with it because we don't have the mind. What's happened? Haven't you heard? The computer's going crazy. It sounds like Barney. It's ordering bonuses of 50 credits for every employee. I love you. And stop bonuses. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a drink. And George said he'd tell me about the rabbit, so... They're juicing Jerry Garcia. Ooh, you know, she looks like a gray with a wig on. Yeah. Someone should buy her a nose. Thrill as she thinks! <laughs> Winston Churchill's mobbed-up brother, Vito. <laughs> All right, bingo. I'll have the waffles. Man, I hate anteaters. He's here! Grandpa! Grandpa! <laughs> well, that'll stop the 400-pound guy who smells pancakes. <laughs> Behind the bar, we'll bluff him. I'll put on a robe and pretend I'm Frangelico. Heck, here one promised that would work. Mm. Ooh, we 
demand that you set up a delicious buffet. Where is he? Club's closed, fat man. I'm on vacation. I've come for Fingal, Rick. Fingal, Rick? What is that, some kind of a Rhine wine? Search the place. <laughs> he must be here somewhere. Oh, Rolf, no. I wish my brother George were here. <laughs> 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 He died protecting the Quantro. Oh. That was my best geek. Stay where you are. I'm getting your heart attack pills. Jeez. <laughs> you know, Eraserhead was easier to follow than this movie. Is that James Joyce back there? <laughs> Leave it on. Miss James, why are you voluntarily breaking contact with Fingal? What yeah. is your deal? You are losing him! His lava lamp's out of control. <laughs> he looks drunk to me. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's Taz. <laughs> what now? Try jiggling it. Moliere looks on. Fingal, you are mine. With Bernays sauce. Thank you, Miss James. Your contact with Fingal is no longer required. You will no longer be able to communicate with him. Cube destruct. Three minutes. The director's neck right in my hands. Yeah. <laughs> Single. Draw me some butter. <laughs> you are being terminated with extreme pork chops. Hey, out of it, Rick. Oh, I feel so sorry for his shirt. One sec, Rick. That's all I need. Stay out of it, Rick. I'm in the bay! BFD! The prime rib is gone! Fingal? Der Bingo? Chris Kringle? Pat Hingle? You must remember this. My liver has been pierced. Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm more disappointed than shot. <laughs> I should probably marry the ketchups before I die. Hey, did you hear? I'm interfaced, you know. Bingo. How about that, huh? It's up to you. It's okay, buddy. I can handle it. And just what is the it which is to him up and which he can perhaps handle? <laughs> that I don't know. He didn't tell me what the dinner special was. Ah, but now that he's interfaced, we're gonna see some, uh... Now, oh, Mr. Fingal, it is your turn. To feed me. Cube destruct. 90 seconds. Who oh, is the big one? <laughs> Hang on, I'm passing a ham through my left ventricle. Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. See, with him being interface and all, it really makes sense that he, uh, uh no, no, forget it. Yeah, it's a real dilemma because he knows Fingal's the only cook on tonight. <laughs> uh, people with pacemakers do not watch Raul Julia here. Think of the sausages I'll never eat. <laughs> the most face any screen has ever held. Yeah. You destruct. 30 seconds. On, Fingal. Come on, what? You know, my apathy is palpable at this point. T-Zones graphically portrayed. Huge destructive. 15 seconds. <laughs> yay! Why am I cheering? I don't know, but yay! One less cake to bake him. 12 less eggs to fry. Cube destruct. 5, 4, Three. Uh, shut two, up! One. Shut up! Destruct. Fingal? 
I got spurs that jingle, jingle, jingle. Vertigo to hell. <laughs> Damn it, Jingle, where are you? Gee, you think she might be sitting on her bony rear end in that room with her hand to her ear? Miss James, you are in danger. Do not attempt to contact Bingo. He has created a massive energy surge. You could be destroyed. Can't lose you now. The energy surge gave her a new hairdo. We haven't even had a dance together. Well, you never bought a muffler together either. What's the point? If you don't get out, you'll be nothing but a flow of electrons. I like it though. Wee fun. <laughs> electrons don't dance, Finger. They don't make love. They're Lutherans. You kidding? We'll have an electron sex party right now. Wee. I don't know where you are. I love you this much. I don't care for you. But I'm starting the transfer. Miss James, this procedure is not recommended. Hey, hey, Hal, why don't you go on break? I recommend huh? you accept the cancellation of Errol Finkel. We're going to save him. You know what would have saved this movie? Surf music. Man, surf music makes anything good. See what I mean? Pond's fortifying cream diminishes tiny lines while you sleep. Mike, I think she really is Billy Squire. So what, the final two hours of the movie is in slow motion now? You have a jelly bean stuck to your hair. Now she turns into a werewolf. Yeah! No. Uh -huh. I guess so. Hi. <laughs> nice <laughs> to meet you, Miss James. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ooh, eating Raul. <laughs> You really are too much. You know that, Fingo? <laughs> too much, yeah. Gotta get going. There's still a lot to do. Oh, not on our account. Feel free to add. Yeah, whatever. What are you doing? I just erased Aaron Fingo. He never existed. Try me. So, lots to do meant a few taps on the keyboard. Fingo, no file. Put your thumb right there. Wait a minute. You'll need a new ident as much as I will. You could have asked. My name? Ingrid Laszlo. <laughs> what's yours? Just call me Rick. And what's happening now? I'm taking care of the chairman. He's going on for a month's compulsory rehab. <laughs> You're putting him in Daisy? <laughs> Daisy's too good for the bastard. He's going on as an anteater. No <laughs> way off the anteater. Come on. Man. I guess you have to go now. Yeah. But just number one, don't worry. You can what stay here. What is that? What is that? I'm not just gonna disappear, I'm gonna fight, not let the system run me anymore, and I don't want you to get hurt. I can take care of myself. You know, if Raul was Scott Ledoux, he'd be on the floor now. Oh, and I guess PBS means public boinking system, huh? Do people ever lock tongues and get stuck that way? Hmm. And I'm more interested in those little rectangles back there, see? Getting a place. Fried or broiled? A little <laughs> club on the other side of town. We can call it Rick's place. Get a piano player. Wait, this will only take a second. Let me show you this really hard free cell game. Man, I'm sorry these two didn't end up together. Well, they did. Oh, well, then I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I guess this movie was kind of like watching Casablanca. Well, having a small child use your groin as a punching bag. Yeah, yeah. But I hate this movie. It's on AMC every week. Wait, wait, I was working on a project with the UN to buy an emergency aid. Ah, oh, well, never mind. And now the news. That was the news. 
You know, if, if I was going to scroll up a cinema, I'd scroll up, uh, I don't know, maybe Dirty Dingus McGee. Yeah, you don't yeah. see that enough, do you? No. Man, that was a very bad and confusing movie. I wish there was something we could do. Well, well why don't you call tech support? Tech support for Overdrawn with the Memory Bank? Yeah, I'm sure they get a lot of complaints. They better have a tech support. Why not? Well, okay, we'll give it a try. Let's see, uh, 1 800, what, uh, S U C K? Yeah. Hey, it's ringing. <laughs> Welcome, and thank you for calling our award-winning 24-hour technical support service for Overdrawn at the Memory Bank. Please be prepared with a specific problem regarding Overdrawn at the Memory Bank. In order to facilitate assistance from one of our skilled Overdrawn at the Memory Bank technicians. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm prepared with some specific problems about <laughs> Overdrawn at the Memory Bank, all right. Don't have to worry about that. Overdrawn at yeah, the Memory can... Bank technical support. This is Mandy. How can I help you? Uh, well, first of all, let me Sir, see. Sir, let what me take it... care of some common troubleshooting possibilities right away. Are you, in fact, watching Overdrawn at the Memory Bank? Yes, yes, yes. yes. We do find that people new to our Overdrawn at the Memory Bank family of viewers can make a simple mistake and actually be watching another movie. Uh -oh. If that is the case, then we would urge you to call the appropriate technical support service, for we are legally unable to provide support for look, other Look, look, we're watching Overdrawn at the Memory Bank. The credits are rolling right now. So it's not complete yet. Well, no, but I mean, we We watched... strongly advise our customers to view the entire film. It is impossible for us to gauge the accuracy of any confusion or Look, how are the credits going to help the fact that we have no idea what was going on with anything? Yeah. What, what was the I'm interface thing? What, what, what <laughs> was the skinny woman doing when she was licking her watch? Yeah. And, hey, hey, why the pinch mouth cockney creep? And, yeah. and the, the guy just reverses the access code. Who really? Thought that was well-crafted sure. screenwriting. And the music was the most insipid. Uh, banal. Banal. B banal. All noodling I've ever heard in my life. Sir, those are unfortunate design flaws which we do acknowledge. Well, what can I do about it? Mm -hmm. When did you purchase your version of Overdrawn at the Memory Bank? Uh, I I didn't purchase it. I just uh. Huh? So you are an unauthorized viewer of Overdrawn at the Memory Bank? I don't. Th th I, don't I am don't. legally required to report this violation of all. Hang up! Hang up! Hang up! Hang up! Get out of here! It's gone. Oh, that got us nowhere. Oh, we're in trouble. That went bad. Oh, come on, man. You don't want to do this, man. Listen to me, man. You don't want to end up in the bone orchard, man. <laughs> Get down, Mike! What's, what's going on? Shh, hush, Mike. Bobo's trying to talk Henry down. Huh? Well, yeah, I sure I used to throw stuff in my day. Huh? Well, okay, you're on. Hand me that oh. paper. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> this is the answer. Hey, give me that microwave. Oh. Incoming! Hey, I have an idea. Oh. Oh. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to use a blowgun. It won't hurt him a bit. Okay. Okay. Oh. 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 No! They weren't hurting anybody. Yeah, except for us. But still, I mean, man. What was I supposed to do? Sit down here and let them throw refrigerators at me? Oh, they were this, playing, Mike. This is the most terrible to... Hey, uh, does, does anybody mind if I use the phone for a second to call Pearl? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, no, no, just, no, oh, no, no, talk no, back, talk no. Back. Yeah. Look, Servo, we're out of tote bags. Yes, I'm sure. Well, okay, for a $25,000 pledge, you can get a, uh, an ashtray for your premium. Payment plan? Yeah, you send me a cashier's check for the whole amount. No, thank you, Servo. Uh, oh yeah, um, public pearl, cause, uh, where the hell else are you gonna see public television crap, huh? That's right, nowhere else but public television. So come on, pay up freeloaders, keep the money coming. And remember, cash money. Oh yeah. Always grease your phone bank. Here you go, Ortega, buy yourself some Irish Spring, huh?
minus 